Hi, this is Larry Troca, and today I want to do a short video on horse conformation. Uh, we have uh, several horses here we're going to look at. I think there's five or six of them, and I'm just going to give an overall uh, uh, analysis of what I see in the conformation, uh, the good points, the bad points, uh, you know, what that horse might be good at, what it, you know, or what it can't do, uh, probably can't do. Um, but anyway, we'll get started. I don't want to make this very long. But we're going to get right to it here. So let's go to the first horse. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is a filly. And the first thing that strikes me about this horse when I look at this photo is she's camped out behind. You see how her hocks are out behind her? Here's the point of her, of her hip right here, point of her butt. And drawn a straight line down from the point of her butt, you see the hocks go behind that straight line. Uh, so if I was looking for a performance horse, you know, a horse that could stop, roll over its hocks, this sure wouldn't be uh, a horse that I would choose. Uh, you know, her neck looks pretty good. Her, actually, her head looks pretty good. The rest of her looks okay. Um, her pasterns are a little too long for uh, my taste. Um, of course, that, that might mean she's a smooth ride. Uh, and she might be a little shallow through the flank here. You know, going from the, the, the uh, lower part of her flank up to the, the uh, top of her, her uh, uh, loins there. Um, it's kind of shallow. I'd like to see it deeper. Like I'd like to see this bottom line come in lower. Okay, that when they're deep to the flank, they're strong and they can stop. Uh, let's see. Let's see if they have any more photos of of this horse. Okay, so here's one from the front view. And this is kind of a good photo. She looks good in this this photo. Um, here again, her head looks pretty good. The uh, uh, her chest is is I'd say the right size for her body. You don't want a big heavy chest. You know, I hear people say all the time, oh yeah, I want a horse with a nice big chest. Well, if you see a horse that has a nice big chest, chances are that horse isn't a very good athlete. You know, there, there's exceptions to the rule, but generally, big heavy chest means uh, they can't handle that front end very good. All right, let's see, let's go to some more pictures of her. And she looks decent in that photo. And here again, you can see, even from the front, you can see how her hind legs, her, her hocks are out behind her. Uh, yeah, that's that's no good. That's no good. Yeah, let's go to the next one here. And here she is trotting. And right right here, you can see how shallow through the flank she is right there? Well, I sure wouldn't pick her if I wanted a performance horse I could really stop. She might be fine as just a trail horse or a pleasure horse or, you know, or just a... Uh, you know, just an all-around recreational horse, she might be fine. And a headshot. Another headshot. So in this photo, you know, like I said, her, her head looks pretty good. Her neck looks pretty good. Cannon bones, in relation to the forearm, look pretty good. You know, you want the forearm longer than the cannon bones. The shorter the cannon bones, the better. Uh, here again, you can see she's shallow through the flank. Not too bad of a hip. I like her tail set. Her tail set is set low. I like that. Here again, her hocks are out behind her. Uh, yeah. All right, see if there's another photo. Here's another photo of her. Again, hocks are out behind her. Okay, we're back at the original photo. Okay, so, so you know, you kind of got an idea on this horse. Uh, if I was looking to buy a horse, and I just wanted a nice recreational horse, this horse would be fine. But if I wanted a, a, a performance horse, cutter, rainer, rain cow horse, you know, something like that that could stop, I definitely uh, would take her off my list. All right, let's go to the next horse here. Okay, here we have a little Palomino. Looks like a little Palomino gilding. And here again, look how you know, the, his, the set of his, of his hind legs. Again, his hocks are out behind him. Um, and he looks, in this photo here, he looks cowhocked also. He just looks really weak. Look how small his Gaskin muscles are. Um, yeah, he just looks weak back here. Um, decent depth through the flank. Uh, his neck 
in, at least in this photo, his neck ties in too low on his chest. I don't like that. Head looks pretty good. Cannon and bone in relation to his legs. His legs look a tad too long. Now this now I don't, I don't know how old this horse is. I'm guessing it's an it's a young horse. So the relationship length of legs compared to uh, depth of body that can change quite a bit as a as a uh, mature. Let's see if they have any more pictures of this horse. Okay, that's a good good picture. That's the picture we just looked at. Okay, here we go. Here's a side view of him. Um, you know, here again, his neck, see how, has, how low, see how, how thick his neck is, from the top of his neck to the bottom of his neck, that the, his, the, the bottom of his neck is tying into his chest too low. If we were, if it tied in a couple inches higher, it would look pretty good. Uh, the slope of his shoulder, you know, it doesn't look too bad. You know, like here's the, here's the point of his shoulder, here's his withers, you know, it's not too bad. You don't want a straight up and down shoulder. Or you'll have a really rough horse and probably not a very good athlete. And here again, he's fairly deep to the flank. I really like that. Um, but, you know, that strength through his loin here uh, is kind of offset by really weak looking hind legs. Very little Gaskin muscle. Um, and here again, in this photo, he looks cowhawked also. Length of pastern looks pretty good. You know, his head is decent. I would want to check his teeth. It looks like he might be parrot mouth. Looks like uh, he, he might have an overbite uh, right there. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go to the next photo. Yeah. And here's a front view. Now, right here, you can see this rear hawk. It's the hawk, the tip, the point of the hawk is pointing in toward the other hawk. So so I'm pretty sure he's cow hawked. And I wouldn't, I don't, I, I don't like a cow hawked horse. That's, that, that's usually weak hawks. All right, that's the original photo we looked at. All right, let's go on to the next horse here. So in summary, here again, this horse would probably be fine as a recreational horse, but as a competition horse, um, he has too many faults. I, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't take a chance on him. Okay, so here we have a Gruya uh, gilding, and my first impression looking at this photo is he's a heck of a lot better built than those first two horses we looked at. So, you know, his neck is pretty decent. Uh, it ties in a tad low, but not that bad. Uh, you know, his shoulder... It's just average. It's not real steep, and he's it, it's not real uh, a lot of slope to it either. It's just kind of a an average sh uh, length, uh, slope of shoulder. Uh, pretty deep through the heart girth. It's pretty good. Pretty deep through the flank. I really like that. Real low tail set. So here's his croup. Here's here's the top of his hips. This is hip bone here, and look how low the tail set is. That is usually a good sign that that horse could be a stopper. You know, one that could really stop hard. And we look at the length from the point of the, the hip to the flank. Pretty long, okay? He's pretty long through the, through the hip. I like that. Real strong Gaskin muscles. You see how, see how big his Gaskin muscles are? And really nice uh, angle to his hock. Now, you don't want too much angle. or You, you get what's called sickle hocked. And a sickle hocked horse usually pops curbs right below the point of the hock. The hock. Uh, curbs are nothing more than a, like a bowed tendon, except on the, the uh, uh, hind leg right below the hock, okay? A lot of strain right there. But he has a really nice angle to his hock. I'd say it's pretty darn good. The relationship, the length of, of cannon bone in relation to the length of Gaskin is all right. You know, you want the cannon bone shorter than the, than the uh, Gaskin or the forearm. Same up front. I mean, it's not perfect. I wish he had shorter Gaskin. I mean, uh, shorter uh, cannon bones. But I, you know, I could live with this. Uh, has medium length pasterns. I like that. Uh, his head. Here again, you see his upper lip uh, coming coming out past his lower lip. I would open his mouth and see if he has uh, a parrot 
parrot mouth, you know, an, over, an, an overbite. Um, this this head here, you see he's got a little dip to his head there. At least it appears this way in the photo. You know, that, yeah, forehead has a little bit of a bulge to it. You see here his eyes here and his forehead is is out here. I would sure like it if you had a flatter forehead. Whenever you see that bulging forehead, uh, sometimes it's questionable of uh, their character, at least the ones I've seen. Um, he's got nice short ears. I like that. Um, a real short back. So here's his withers. He doesn't have a lot of wither. He's kind of round back, but he's probably a young horse. His withers will probably develop as he gets older. But you see, here's the base of his withers. And here's where his back ends and his loins are. He has a nice short back, which means, you know, I'd take a chance on this horse just based on, on confirmation. Now, if he had an overbite, I, I wouldn't because that's just something that, you know, if they have something like that, it's hard to sell them when it's time to sell them. Let's see if they have any more photos of him. All right, so here's a, a head shot. You know, it's a fairly attractive looking head from this angle. The more width they have between their eyes, the better I like it. Nostrils are even. You always want to check, make sure you don't have one nostril higher than the other nostril. If it is, it means there was nerve damage done when they were halter breaking him as a baby. Like the nerves that are right behind the ears here is what affects his, the horse's face. And if you damage these nerves, like a horse, say you have a real thin rope halter on a horse, and you tie him up solid, and he pulls back, and he damages the nerves right behind his ears, you'll see one side of his face drop. So one nostril will be lower than the other. Oh, we've got to go back here. Okay, we're back on him here. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next shot here. All right, so here's a shot from the front. And the um, the first thing that strikes me that I when I look at this horse is his legs are way out to the outside of his chest. At least that's the way it appears to be in this photo. Now, um, I don't like that. When you have the legs way to the outside corners of the horse's body, it usually means he's not as good an athlete. Um, and you see the middle of his chest here? You see how straight it is between the legs, flat? You really want that to have a V shape to it, not flat across there. So here again, that would make me question his athletic ability up front. Now he's getting ready to take a stride, and we've got his hind feet right here. You see how close together his two hind feet are as he's striding? I do not like that. I a matter of fact, I really dislike that. Um, now, it might be just a coincidence in this in this one photo here, the, the, the shot, but uh, I sure want a horse with a wider base than that behind. And, okay, here we go. Here's a rear shot. And, yeah, he's base narrow behind. Yeah. That that by itself would would make me hesitate on buying him, because if you're buying a horse that's going to work cattle, or a horse that that has to really put his butt in the ground and and turn over his hock, the wider the base uh, be, uh, that he has on his hind legs, the better. Especially if you have, want a cutting horse. If a cutting horse won't spread his hind legs, you don't have a cutting horse. They 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 really can't they really can't hold cattle. If they're base narrow like this, that they got they got to be able to spread their hind legs. So from behind, he is nice Gascon muscle. I like that. Um, here again, you look at that upper lip coming down past the lower lip. I, I bet he's parrot mouth. Um, you want to look to see if one hip is higher than the other, and you can see he's walking in this photo. So it's kind of hard to tell. This this the left hind leg is forward. So you know, that hip has dropped a little bit, so you really can't go by that. All right, let's see if there's any more photos of him. And here's a, a photo. He's camped out behind in this photo, but I think it's just a coincidence. Um, he could have shorter cannon bones. You look at him here, the cannon bone's almost as long as the forearm. I don't like that. 
And here again, we got this bulge in his forehead. Uh, I do not like that. Every horse that I've ever had that had a bulging forehead uh, wasn't very good-minded. Uh, I'm sure there's exceptions to the rule. Now I'm, ta- now, I'm not talking about a recreational horse that isn't really asked to do anything but <laughs> ride around. But I'm talking about you know, a horse that, that you're training for competition. Uh, I have found that that bulging forehead, uh, usually they're usually not, not suitable for the performance events. And here again, there's ex- I'm sure there's exceptions to the rule. All right, we're back at the original photo. All right, let's move on to our next horse here. Okay, so here we have a filly, and the first thing that that strikes me when I look at this horse is I'm drawn to her front legs. So you see how the the knee is kind of buckled forward ahead of the cannon bone. That's what's called uh, uh, buck kneed, uh, and you know it does. It's, to tell you the truth, it really uh, doesn't cause a problem usually but it just looks bad i mean i mean you know (laughs) when you look at that yeah i don't like it and she's probably not as good probably not as good an athlete being buck kneed like that uh yeah i don't like it and the other thing that strikes me is you see this 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 right hawk she's got a cap she's got a capped hawk which means she is probably you know kicked something whoops She's probably kicked something and uh, uh, you know, hurt that hawk. So now we got a swelling there. Now the other thing that that I'm drawn to right away is you see her under her underline here. It gets to here and then it cuts straight up into her flank. I hate that because here now we got a shallow flank, deep to the heart girth, shallow flank. Um, yeah, I don't like it. Uh, She's got, she's kind of low in the back here. You see that kind of sway back? I could live with that. Uh, it's not so bad that I'd, I'd really worry about it. And she's short backed. I do like, I do like that. She's short backed. Her neck ties into her shoulder pretty good. You see how, how high the low, the bottom of her neck comes out of her, her, uh, her chest here. And that's pretty good. Um, it looks like she, her eyes are a little small. I don't like that. Uh, she's got a nice flat forehead, though. I do like that. Kind of a small hip. You know, you look at the the point the point of her her hip. You know, forward to the flank. It's kind of short. She's she's higher in the hip than she is in the withers. Now, I'm guessing this is probably a two year old or a three year old, and that could change. You know, from month to month, sometimes the hip is higher than the withers. Sometimes the withers is higher than the hip, and then when they get older, it usually levels out. Usually, not always. But uh, if I was buying a, a say a four year old, and her hip was higher than her withers, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy her because uh, it's just going to be hard for her to to stop hard. Going to be hard for her to turn over her hocks. Uh, yeah, it just makes it difficult. And it doesn't look like they have any more photos of this horse. All right, let's move on to the next horse. So here again, in summary, this horse would probably be fine as a recreational horse, but it, as a performance horse that I'd show in competition, I'd I'd pass on her. Okay, here's our next horse. Okay, so we look at this uh, mare here, and just by looking at her, this looks like an, an older horse than what we've been looking at. I think those other ones, they kind of look like two-year-olds or three-year-olds. And this one here looks like she's a mature horse, now, the the first thing I notice about her is she's long backed, uh, not real bad long backed, but long enough where I would be concerned about it. And she's kind of shallow through the flank. Now, if she was deep through the flank, see, see, see how her 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 the underline cuts up like a greyhound greyhound dog that's a real weakness right there now if she was deep to the flank and long backed i wouldn't worry about it but long backed and shallow through the flank yeah I'd, I'd pass on this horse as a performance horse and here here again we we draw a straight line down from the point of her her her, her hip 
and her hawks are out behind that. So she's kind of like standing camped out. I hate that. You know, neck ties into her chest too low. So you see how thick the neck is right here at the base. That neck, the lower, the bottom of her neck should be coming out, you know, up higher on her chest. And we look at her head, and here again, we got her, see her upper lip is, is, protruding over her lower lip. I'm guessing she's has an overbite, you know, parrot mouth. Um, her ears look good. <laughs> uh, front legs look good, you know, kind of decent looking front legs. Let's see if they have any more photos of her. Nope, I don't see the little arrow, so they don't. Uh, so anyway, here again, as, as just a recreational horse, this horse is probably fine, but I sure wouldn't buy this horse you know, as a reigning prospect or a cutting prospect or anything like that. All right, I think we've got one more horse to go. All right. So here again, we're, it looks like we're looking at a, a young horse. This is probably a, a two-year-old or a three-year-old. And the first thing that strikes me is all this heavy mass up front. And look how light she is behind. Uh you know, I would no more buy this horse. <laughs> uh, this, yeah, this horse isn't going to be able to do do anything. You look at her cannon bones. Her cannon bones are longer than her gaskins, and up front here, her cannon bone is just as long as her forearm. That is the first sign that we don't have an athlete. She's not going to be very very athletic. Uh, here again, we have her her hips. Are higher than her withers. Um, she's young, so that could change. You know, she could grow up taller here and be fine. But if it stayed like this, I, I would sure wouldn't like it. And here again, this neck is just this is bad. See how straight up and down her shoulder is? There's no slope to her shoulder. Uh, probably real rough to ride. Uh, you see, and you can see it real clearly right here. Here's the shoulder going. I mean, it, that is real steep. So she's not going to be able to really stride out in front. She's going to have short, choppy steps. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Uh, ears look decent. Forehead is flat. Eyes look decent. Mouth looks good. On a lot of horses, the shorter their mouth is, the better I like it. I don't like horses that have a real long mouth. Short mouth usually means they have a lot, a lot of feel to their mouth. And, uh, uh, you know, I really like that. Uh, horses with a really long mouth, a lot of times those are, are kind of, I don't know, they just don't feel as good in your hands. Um, all right. And here it's small hip, kind of a high tail set. I don't like any of this. Uh, yeah, I don't like any of it. Uh, let's see if, oh, I got some more photos of her. So here's a photo of her head. She's got a blue eye. You know, blue eye doesn't bother me that much. Uh, I, I would prefer they don't have a blue eye. Uh, and here you can see her mouth is fairly short. And we don't have an overbite uh, on in, on this horse. Yeah, I'm guessing her teeth are, are pretty darn normal. Um, so that's pretty good. Let's see. We got some more photos here. And here we got the front view. Now, she's a little narrow in the chest. But I would, I would not, I would not uh, dock her for that. That's fine. Uh, you know, if I'm looking at a performance horse, the last thing I want is some big, wide chest. If I got, if I have the the to make a decision between a horse with a wide chest and one with too narrow of a chest, I'm going to take one. I'm going to take the horse with the narrow chest. Um, from the front, you know, she's pretty wide between the eyes, which I like. Uh, her nostrils uh, are even, so you know we don't have any nerve damage be, uh, behind her ears you know, in the pole area. Uh, for my taste, her nostrils are too small. Uh, when you're looking at a performance horse prospect, you need to look at that because think about a reining pattern. A lot of times they've got to do uh, six, you know, six circles. Uh, some of them big, big and fast circles. They got to do rundowns and stops and roll back. They've got to be able to 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 bring enough air and oxygen into their lungs 
to to be able to 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 do a a long reigning pattern one of the you know uh, same thing with with a cutting horse you know you you're only you only have two and a half minutes to work but you know if you're going to win something that that two and a half minutes that horse really has to really be putting out a lot of effort you need large nostrils for that um okay and i think this is the original photo we were looking at oh no here's a different photo all right so here we have one of her trotting um and here again, you know, tail set as too high of a tail set for my taste. Very little Gaskin muscle. I don't like that. Here again, you can see how long the cannon bones are. Cannon bones are longer than the Gaskin. That that usually means no athletic ability. Same same here. Um, yeah, I, I I'd pass on this horse. Oh, here's another. All right, so so when you're looking at this, both those pictures are, are trotting. Now, how can I tell she's trotting? Because we got the diet, we got, we got this going on here. This is, this is a trotting gait. It's easy to tell by the placement of her feet. And here again, uh, look how steep her shoulder is. Man, I hate that. And her neck, the bottom part of her neck coming out of her chest real low. Uh, flat croup. I don't like that. Uh, weak Gaskins. Uh, about the only thing I really like about this horse is her length of mouth. That's that's about it. <laughs> uh, and here here again, I mean, she'd probably be fine as a recreational horse, but I sure wouldn't pick her as a performance horse. Oh, here's another photo of her. Same thing. Hawks are kind of out behind her. All right, that's the original photo. Okay, so so that was just a quick analysis of several horses' confirmation. Um, uh, you know, we'll just call it quits right here. All right, take care. Bye-bye.